foam, mousse. What should I use? How do I use it? What's the difference? Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm a licensed hairstylist with over 20 years of experience. And on this channel, I use those 20 years of experience to help you have healthy, happy hair. So as you saw in the intro, this video is gonna be about mousses and foams. And my reason why I decided to go ahead and do this video is, well, there's a couple of them. One is that I've gone back to a combination that I used to do um, quite a while ago, like probably years ago, of the AG Recoil with the AG Mousse Gel. And I've been really loving it again lately. And um, and then that just kind of got me thinking a little bit and actually there was another video I did where I mentioned where I was using, um, I think it was when I did the review on the Curlsmith products when I used this one that I talked about perhaps doing a video on foams and mousses because I don't see a lot of people using them and I do sometimes see them used not necessarily correctly. One of the things that I used to get asked a lot when I was a hairstylist, when I still work behind the chair, is how to use products, various products, pretty much all of them, but mousses and foams and stuff in particular seem to kind of confuse people as to, you know, how to use them. And then just part of my job as a hairstylist was to educate people how to use different products um, to get the best results for their hair type and which ones were going to work better than others. So I thought I'd just go ahead and do this in this video since I have been using foams and mousses a lot more lately. I'm going to talk about the difference. The foam I'm actually going to use today is going to be the Wee Dog Play Curl Amplifying Foam. This has been discontinued and they have replaced it with a different line of products. However, I still really like this one um, and I haven't tried any of the new products. I could have just as easily gone with the protein one. Um, but I have been using this one and I wanna switch over to this one, so I'm going to use this one. One of the things that I wanna show you is the differences in consistency with the um, foams versus the mousses. So a foam is going to be, as you can see, it's a little bit less dense. And then as I move it around on my hand, you can kind of see that as the foam dissipates, it you're left with kind of like this watery, and it feels very thin and most of these less dense foams are like that, that they're thin and more on the watery side and you don't feel a whole lot of stickiness to it. They're just really light and airy. And I find that these types of foams work really well for very fine hair that is very easily weighed down by products that are pretty heavy. Um, because these are just so lightweight, like they're just mostly like, like really watery liquid with some air pumped into them and they're just fluffy and they help give mostly body and, uh, lift and some volume to fine hair, which tends to not want to have a lot of volume. And it does so again, like I said, without really weighing it down, there is a little bit of a light hold, but not a whole lot. So if you're somebody who requires more hold, you're probably gonna wanna mix it with something else. For somebody like me who has hair that's on the coarse side and is a little bit on the dense side, that's not gonna do a whole lot to put in throughout my entire head of hair. Um, like a person with fine hair could just use that all over from roots to ends. They can definitely put it up at their roots without having to worry about it really weighing their hair down or even just running it through, like I said. It's just, it's not heavy enough in most cases to really weigh their hair down just because of how it's made and how light it is. Um, but with somebody like me who has the coarser hair and the thicker hair, you saw me go ahead and put it in up at my roots. And those are typically some of the only products that I'll put in up at my roots just because they are really lightweight and they do help with volumizing because most of them will say something like, amplifying or they'll say volumizing or this one will say bouncy strength volume foam. So that's why I like to put those up near my roots. Now mousses like this that are a bit denser and this is denser than even this. Um, those I tend not to put up at my roots nearly as much and it kind of depends like with my hair I could probably get away with it because I do have coarser hair but if you have finer hair you may not want to do that because it might be a little bit too much 
This one says whipped volume. So this is, like I said, is not as dense as something like this, which is a mousse gel and has a completely different texture. Um, and then this one is another one that is a different texture and it's lighter weight um, than something like this. So just like foams are actually really good for fine hair because it doesn't really weigh it down. Mousses can be really good for fine hair as well, um, especially when they say something like volumizing because they do tend to be lighter weight. If you're gonna have something that says volumizing, you can't really put a volumizing label on something that's heavier because that's gonna be counterproductive to the volumizing or volume creating goal of the product. So I find that mousses do work really well for finer hair types, for thinner hair types that are trying to get a little bit more fluff and volume into their hair. Um, and then I like, and I like them on my hair too, but I do like to combine them with other things just because it's usually not enough. Like a foam like this is not gonna be enough from roots to tips. For me, not at all. It just works really well up up my roots to give me a little bit of lift and keep my hair from being stuck to my head. And then when I do use mousses, I will either combine them with a curl cream or I will combine them with a gel. And when I combine them with a cream or a gel, I always put in either the cream first or the gel. If I'm using the gel, I put that in first. I will use my brush and do my styling technique that I typically do with my brush. And then I will put in the mousse afterwards and I just find that doing it like that really helps with the clumping and the definition that you've already started with your brushing technique. And the reason why that I like putting it in and I think that it actually enhances what you already have accomplished with your brushing technique is because if you just kind of smooth the mousse over and then scrunch it in, you're helping and encouraging that to clump even more. So like if you've seen the um, scrunching more water into your hair um, after you've gotten out of the shower or whatever and it causes more clumps, uh, the mousse, applying mousse after you've done your, your cream or your gel and then your brushing technique, putting that mousse in there like that does the same thing as that water and really helps to clump. Whereas if you're putting it in and raking it through, it's kind of breaking it all apart and not really encouraging the clumps. And yes, you can define your hair after you've put mousse in it. You can absolutely rake it through and you can put the mousse in that way. However, I prefer to do it at the end and have it help me continue to clump and define my hair even more, plus give me a little extra hold. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my recoil curl cream and I'm going to do this in the way that I typically do my curl creams and that's section by section. So I start at the underneath, I will brush it through to evenly distribute it and make sure I have plenty of water in here because it's dragging a little too much so it's gotten a little too dry. So that's much better. All right and then now that I've got that kind of distributed throughout that whole section, now I will just do my typical section, brush through, and then I go up underneath and bring it down and around while holding on to some, um, while creating some tension by turning it under and also hanging on to the bottom, um, the ends while I did it. I don't know if you saw that when I did that but I go like this to smooth it out and then up and under and then pulling here to help create tension until I let go and then um, look like that. And the tension is kind of like, the tension with the brush like this is kind of like a ribbon, curling up a ribbon when you take scissors and you sh like go through it like that and you have the tension and then it curls. This kind of does the same thing, plus the tension also helps to further smooth your hair out when you're brushing through it. It just keeps it all nice and neat and smooth so that you can get some nice definition because if you have, um, if it's not smooth and it's kind of messy and tangly or a little bit frizzy, then it's definitely gonna look like that when it's dry. So it's good to have it be nice and smooth and neat when you're doing it wet. Um, so that it dries that way. Anyway, I am going to finish doing my head. I do the bottom section, then I do this section here, 
Then I do the top section last and I pull out like this at the side and then I go up off the top to get some volume up at the top. So I'm gonna continue to do that. I'm gonna come back, put the mousse in and show you how I put the mousse in so as to keep those clumps that I have achieved by doing my brushing and the definition. I will be back. I'm back after putting in the AG Recoil um, Curl Activating Cream. Uh, this is actually old packaging. I've had this for a while, but the new packaging kind of looks more like this in design. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. As you can see, I've got some clumping, I've got some definition, and putting this in afterwards is going to help to maintain that and kind of add to it a little bit more and really enhance those clumps. So um, I'm just gonna show you real quick here. Get this and shake it up. I'm trying to, I'm shaking as I'm only trying to like squirt out just a tiny amount instead of like a ton so that I can show you what it looks like, that it's a little bit thicker and as I move it around. And then the other thing that unfortunately I can't show you, maybe I can, you can kind of see that my hand looks a little slick. And that's because it's kind of turned into a bit of a creamy gel type feeling. So anyway, um, that is the difference between the textures, whereas the foam was definitely more lightweight, more watery and less dense. This is more dense. Um, something like this is similar to this, but because this is a mousse gel, um, it's even more dense and it has that gel kind of consistency when the foam works its way down. And this doesn't so much, um, but this is also a really good mousse. It's just, I've really been loving the combination of the um, Wee Dodd foam at my roots, the recoil, and then this in the rest of my hair. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a decent sized blob. I'm trying to do this on camera and not have it slip out of my hands. Um, but anyway, I got a pretty big blob and then I like to just run it over. And you see I'm not really raking it in, I'm just smoothing it over and then I'm scrunching to get that all in there. And that helps to maintain and kind of even enhance those clumps that I've got as opposed to raking through and pulling those clumps out. So I'm gonna do another blob. And I actually already did this side, but my camera cut out and did something weird. So you didn't see me do that, but I did the same thing over here as what you saw me do over here. And now I'm just gonna kind of get the back a little bit. And same thing, I'm just gonna run it over the top. And I kind of, put my fingers a little bit into my hair. I'm not really raking it because I'm not putting them all the way through. I'm more, I don't even know what you'd call it, just kind of tucking them slightly in just to try to make sure that I get a lot of the product in there. And then I scrunch and it's this going over the top and getting it nice and saturated and then scrunching that all in there that really helps lock in those curl clumps. And then this section of my hair is actually my most difficult section. It tends to curl a little bit less, so I'm just gonna go through and put that in there. And you can hear that really good squelchy, squishy noise. And then I flip it upside down and I smooth a little bit over just the underneath, just a very small amount and scrunch into the ends again. And then um, that's all that I put in there and then diffuse. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my head upside down. I'll show you the amount that I typically do. So about that much for the underneath. Hopefully I'm getting this in frame. I tend not to do very good at keeping things in frame when I go upside down like this, but then I do some scrunching just to make sure it's nicely diffused, nicely distributed, and 
We've got some more clumps forming, which they definitely are because of, it's kind of a similar concept, like I said before, where, you know, you have your hair kind of defined and then you grab a bunch of water and you start scrunching it into it where it causes it to separate because you're putting more water into it. Well, this has water in it, but it also has like the hold ingredients. So then it helps those clumps stick together even better than water does. So that's why I like to do this technique. So I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse my hair and when I'm done, I will come back and show you what it looks like and scrunch out the crunch because this mousse gel definitely does leave a bit of a cast, which I love. Um, so I will show you the results when I get back. This is my diffused dry hair. And as you can see, I have quite a bit of crunch. So I am going to use my Verb Ghost Oil, one pump. And I smooth it over the top of my hair first, and then use the residue that's left to scrunch out the crunch. And the reason why I apply it to my hair and smooth it completely over it, before I start uh, scrunching out the crunch is to help protect against the frizz that you can sometimes cause from scrunching out the crunch. I'm just gonna go through and start scrunching and scrunching, and this will take a minute or two. It's not too bad of a crunch. Like I said, this mousse leaves a little bit of a cast, but it's not one, it's not really bad. That is the cast all scrunched out. And as you can see, I've got nice, fluffy, bouncy curls. I've got a little bit of volume, which I love. I definitely have some root lift from that foam that I put up there. Um, but one of the reasons why I really like using mousses and why I've really enjoyed using the mousse gel again is because I like the light, fluffy, airy feeling that I get from that. Now, I don't mind gels and I don't mind heavier products because I find that they do a really good job of helping to control the frizz and give me nice defined curls and I get a hold that lasts for forever. But I do really enjoy from time to time having nice, light, fluffy, bouncy curls. So I've been really liking this combination. So basically this video was me needing to do my hair and uh, this is a routine that I have been really enjoying lately and a combination of products that I've been really enjoying. So I took you along for the ride and hopefully you learned something along the way about mousses and foams, the differences between the two, um, who they work best for, and maybe even picked up a tip or two on how to use them to achieve the results that you're after. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell while you're at it. And if there's anything that you'd like to see, any questions, any comments, or you'd just like to say hi, please go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.